Wildfires charred more than 28,000 acres across our state during 2010 fire season. And the two biggest, most destructive fires were right here in Kern County. The county fire department has access to a dangerous but extremely helpful tool in fighting those fires, night vision goggles. 17's Paige Hansen got an exclusive look into how those goggles work, and she's joining us live from the county fire department with that story this morning. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Maddie. And there are only a handful of authorities in the entire state with this same rare technology. And county firefighters are gearing up for a groundbreaking training session with some of those authorities to train on the night vision goggles. And as I found out firsthand, the goggles turn night into day, changing the way fires are fought. That's what firemen do. We have risks. We do risks. Kern County firefighters load up. When all firefighters get a little tingly when they hear the buzzer. The buzzer, signaling an emergency, can go off any time, even in the dark of night. Fighting fire is not one of the safest things to do. To fly an aircraft at night in mountains, at night with goggles dropping water, the risk goes up. This is your volume for your speakers in your helmet. It's a risk Captain Kevin Loomis says is well worth it to salvage what's most precious. Lives, property whatever it may be. When unrelenting fires, like the Weston Bull fires from the summer, rage on. Because the fire burns with less intensity at night. County Fire got five pairs of night vision goggles at $12,000 each about five years ago. They were part of a Homeland Security grant. The goggles amplify available light 5,000 times, turning night into day. Hundreds of feet in the air, firefighters say these night vision goggles more than double their capability to fight fire. It gives us an extra dimension. It impacts the fire tremendously. Um, we, we have that capability. Uh, not too many counties have that capability, and we do. And this aircraft went in service two years ago. Kern County Fire is the only fire agency north of the L.A. Basin to have it, which is why the department is on standby to help with federal fires all over the state. How to do that in a safe manner, a very quick manner, without anybody getting hurt. So that takes a little bit of time to get that dance down. It's a delicate, highly choreographed dance. With goggles latched on, pilots have no depth perception and only a 40 degree field of view. Training is critical. Firefighters simulate a fire, filling the chopper with water, then skillfully dropping it to cool the flames. It's a dangerous job. Firemen are adrenaline junkies, I think. I think we are. A job for thrill seekers who are willing to risk their own lives to save others. You see in footage from nighttime battles or in action movies, it's called night vision. And tonight's good question, how does it work? So here's what it looks like in a room with the lights on. Now let's turn the lights off and we'll put the image intensification on. The latest generation of night vision can turn night into day. Well, greenish day. Changes photons of light into electrons, multiplies them, throws them against a the phosphorus screen, and recreates the image. So you're actually not looking through the binoculars, you're looking at a green tinted um, recreation of the image. James Munn of American Technologies Network says the image is green because the phosphor is green, a color that is good for the human eye to pick up detail. Thermal imaging, on the other hand, looks white. And it picks up the infrared light that all objects emit. The hotter the object, the whiter the image. Cooler temperatures, like glass, appear black. So if I put my sunglasses on, I can't see my eyes. Correct. Right? So you're not going to be able to see the eyes, you're not going to be able to see through windows. Thermal imaging can't see through walls, but it's useful for law enforcement, for hunters, and of course, soldiers who also use the tried and true green variety. Paul, my cameraman, is going to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up right now. Paul? You got two. And how about now? Three. I guess you can see me. Send us your good question at CBS5.com.